hard air sports fans. Now this is just a quick summary of the uh, Sunderland League One match with Hull to go along with the video I made yesterday on their Premiership years. Now this was ended up in a 1-1 draw and it's interesting to see both these sides after their decline from the Premiership. I was asked to do this video by subscriber now. The first thing what was apparent to me is that thingy Adrian McGrady who is Sunderland's probably biggest name player. Now he still showed touches where you can tell what levels he played at but he's a shadow of a player that he once was. He sh still shows lovely touches as I said and he did score but he's too slow to what he was to do what he was elite at and go past the man but due to the modern game any wide man has to track back and I felt he didn't have that he did try to but no one can push time but forever and his age was just showing that but I feel the biggest one of their biggest weakness and I don't know if this is typical for them but I felt Hull got past them far too much they could get balls in the box at their own will it was hard for me to say whether it was full bats fault or the centre backs but to me both was at fault. The full backs didn't cover their man on the channel. They'd whip the box in, the ball in the box, and there was just no leadership slash marking by the centre backs and virtually no organisation. And that sort of how the goal come about I will admit the goalkeeper offered nothing to stop that he did just suffer a I guess you would say head injury and he may have been shaken up so I don't know if that was the reason I don't know enough about him to see if he was reliable but he was taken off at half time so that says to me he probably shouldn't have been allowed to restart the game now, a player what did stick out for Sunderland was Diamond. I think you could tell he was by far the best player. By far. He really stuck out to me and offered a lot attacking in the box, putting balls in and he did provide an assist for the goal so I really think he probably could he's not a polished article there but he probably could play a higher level it was interesting to see Ledbetter still playing in the midfield I remember him from years ago I thought he did okay, but not great. But one-one draw was probably fair on both sides. The second half had opportunities, but really lacked direction in the final third. I thought. Tell me what you guys think. Please like and comment down below. Thank you for listening. Let's talk sport, fans.